In a world that often feels tumultuous, where the news of war and instability can unsettle even the strongest of hearts, it's crucial to find a rock upon which we can stand firm. For those of faith, that rock is found in the unchanging character of God and His promises to us. Today, let's explore how we can navigate the fears of war and world instability by anchoring ourselves in biblical truths. Let's reason together. Remember God's sovereignty. First and foremost, it's essential to remember that God is sovereign over all the earth. Nothing happens without His knowledge and nothing is beyond His control. This truth can bring immense peace to our hearts. The Lord has established His throne in heaven, and His kingdom rules over all. Psalm 103.19 When the news fills us with fear, we can take comfort in knowing that God is still on His throne, ruling over everything. His sovereignty assures us that, even in chaos, there is a divine order and purpose underpinning the world's events. Trust in God's promises. In times of fear and uncertainty, holding on to God's promises is like holding on to a lifeline in the midst of a storm. One of the most powerful promises God gives us is His presence. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 God doesn't promise that we won't face trouble or distress, but He does promise to be with us through whatever comes our way. Remembering that we're not alone can change our perspective on the fears we face. Pray for peace and guidance. Prayer is our direct line to God. It's where we can lay down our fears, seek His peace, and ask for guidance. Through prayer, we're reminded of our dependence on God and His ability to provide us with peace that surpasses all understanding. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. In praying for ourselves, our leaders, and those directly affected by war and instability, we participate in God's work on earth, anchoring our hearts in His peace. Find strength in community. God designed us to live in community, not in isolation. Sharing our fears with fellow believers can help lighten our burdens. Together, we can support one another through prayer, encouragement, and acts of kindness. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6 2. In community, we find a place to express our worries, receive comfort, and remind each other of God's faithfulness throughout history. Cultivate hope. Finally, cultivating hope in God's ultimate victory can transform our perspective on current events. The Bible assures us of a future where God will make all things right, where war and suffering will be no more. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Revelation 21.4 By focusing on this assured hope, we can navigate our current fears with a spirit of faith and expectancy, looking forward to the fulfillment of God's promises. Dealing with fears of war and world instability isn't about denying the reality of these challenges. Instead, it's about choosing to ground ourselves in the truth of who God is, His promises to us, and the hope we have in Him. As we do so, we can move through the world, not as people of fear, but as beacons of God's peace, love, and stability. Let's encourage one another with these truths, knowing that our God is indeed bigger than any fear we may face.